Hello and welcome back to Rock Paper Shotgun. This is Matthew speaking and today we are looking at the Falconeer. Uh, this is part of Indies Uncovered, which is a chance to see some of the demos that would have been at REST, but we're showing them to you online as part of REST Digital. Please do check out our Indies Uncovered playlist for loads of demos we've done over the last couple of days. Uh, but this one I'm really, really excited to show you. It's called the Falconeer and it is a aerial dogfighting game set atop giant birds birds in this sea world. It's a one-man project which is pretty crazy when you see it in action and uh, we're just going to jump straight into this demo. So I'm going to start with uh, picking my little avatar. Let's go for this guy and uh, then we get to pick our uh, the kind of rider we are, falconeer or mercenary currently. Um, I'm going to go for health because I die quite a lot. So the falconeer takes place in this world of water and we fly between uh, little uh, communities or factions. This is Dunkel, uh, which feels like the kind of opening one. Um, I'm not going to do the tutorials, but I'm just going to take off so you can have a little look. Um, so we ride atop this giant bird. It's quite simple controls. I'm controlling movement with the left analog stick. Uh, I'm controlling it with a uh, camera with the right analog stick. Uh, there will be mouse and keyboard. It's not in this build currently. Um, so uh, that's why I'm talking about controls. Uh, it's got very uh, kind of quite simple setup. It almost feels like something like Crimson Skies, uh, which the developer did tell me is, is a, a, a definitely an inspiration. Um, it's got this thing about uh, the, the, the birds kind of more um, advanced kind of kinetic ability so like barrel rolls he can boost flight you can go into a dive um, they're powered by that blue bar at the bottom which is actually uh, you charge up by moving fast so it basically diving so as we fly up it goes down and then we can recharge so it kind of encourages this swooping movement and then we can shoot as well and we can lock on but the best way I think to actually see uh, the combat is to jump into a mission. We can just fly around the world like this and there's lots to discover. Uh, apparently there are these sort of shrines or temples uh, which you can find in the world and they kind of reveal the lore of the game. Um, the developer was telling me that he's very into the kind of the lore and backstory of this world. It's very deep, it's very fleshed out, but you have to kind of discover it. Um, if we do the mission I think we'll get to see a bit more of the map. So we'll uh, fly back to Dunkle for now. So when we land back at Dunkel, we can we can sort of explore the village and take on some missions. Oh, except I've missed the perch. Listen, I'm a I'm a I'm a very much an, an amateur uh, falcon here right now. I really hope I don't fail this mission, but there's there's a good chance I will. So we got like a shop. Uh, we can do some. Uh, these feel like sort of small like side missions. These are the main story missions. We can do training and we can hear some of the lore. But we're going to jump into this mission cleaning up evidence. So Let's do it. Let's uh, first have a quick mission briefing. We now have all we need for a prosperous future. With the support of House Borgia, we have taken control of Salad Mount. The pirates have provided a convenient smokescreen for the entire affair. It would be very, how should I put it? Impractical if anyone were to discover how we took advantage of the situation. So it is time to take care of those pirates and the base they have been operating from. Okay, sounds easy enough. We'll meet up with one of our cousins and escort the ship to the location of the pirate base. We are sure to encounter the remainder of their force. Whatever survived the battle for Salam Mount will be waiting for us. Once there, we need to destroy all. Indeed, it would be very bad for Let's jump straight in. So we also have a wingman joining us who we can kind of order about in combat. Um, it's got this quite nice day-night cycle, the, the, the light changes through it. It can get very stormy as well, so what you probably is going to be a bit too hectic to explain in combat, but if you look very closely at the bird's back, you can see these little blue things. Those are lightning pots. They're basically the ammunition for my combat. They're lightning powered. Um, and you can pick up little kind of refills in battle, but also if there's a storm in the map, and it's quite impressive if there is one, it gets all super choppy, oh, like that, um, you can fly up into the storm and charge them that way as well. 
what you don't want to do when you dive down to recharge is to um, hit the water and lose your oh, like that. I apologise, Falcon here. My precious bird does not like to get wet. It's kind of amazing that all this was built by one guy. I mean, it's it's quite ambitious. <laughs> I love the water effects as well. Hopefully we can see a bit later there's this sort of uh, giant rift in the middle of the map uh, where there's like anti-gravity stuff going on and all the water's uh, quite messed up. Another thing I should point out when I was creating my character, uh, you don't really play as like a big named hero, you just play as like random citizens. It's one of the things that developers are really, really keen to sort of focus on, was that in this world there aren't like famous heroes, you're just people of these communities kind of taking flight. Right, let's get rid of it. So, we've got quite a generous lock on, which as long as we're in the sort of vicinity, we can just desperately try not to die. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh no, that's not going to help. No, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You can target the boats quite accurately. They've got turrets, they've got sails, you can shoot different bits off them. did in the uh, in the demo the developer gave me where obviously he's a real pro at this game okay I think we're all right should I f oh, where's that storm when you need it okay I think we can pick up these uh, here are these ammo pots down here So we can charge them like that. Right, we survived the first onslaught. Oh, Let's get the shots in. Uh, actually, let's not do that. I ran out of ammo last time. See the uh, enemy faces come up. Oh, good. That's more like it. So you've got different fire pots as well. You can see I've got a red one and blue one. Uh, you can upgrade with different weapons. They have different energies. Okay, so. Let's get rid of these targets up in the air first. Well, we shouldn't really fly through the storm because you can overcharge. Oh dear. Oh no. Get tangled in the mines. There are barrage balloons as well. It's, oh, my health is really taking a hammering here. Am I going to die? Am I? Really don't want to die. That would be bad. Come on, come on, let's keep charging it. Drop some health. Is he gonna drop some lovely health for me? Okay, that's a gun turret. So another thing we can do, we can actually pick up landmines or sea mines even from uh, 
from the from the waves and then drop them. Now I saw the developer do this and it looked amazing. But do I have the stuff? Okay, I think I blew myself up. Is that what I did? <laughs> what a spectacular end. So close to glory to fail in the face of it. Glory only for those who claim the spoils from an empty bag. Oh no. So you can also buy some upgrades as well, so we can upgrade our ship, we can get a better rifle for it. We can also put uh, mutagens into our bird, and they boost the bird's performance, but they also change it. Should we give it some extra strength and agility? We can just keep pumping it full of this stuff. But as you do, can you see the little bird picture over here on the uh, left? As we put them in, it kind of... Bird looks a bit scary. So rather uh, fail that mission again, I'm going to do a quick... Should we do a quick pirate bounty? Yeah, let's see how our new super mutated bird handles this. Oh, our new gun's a lot slower. Okay. That last, that would have been so good if I picked up that sea mine and smashed it into the air. That would have been absolutely majestic. What a, what a stunning end to a demo this would have been. Okay. Seems like a good place for a pirate bounty. Just come on. This, this gun is very slow. I imagine it hits like an absolute sledgehammer if I can actually get the... Yeah, look, that bird's on fire. <laughs> Normally it's spaceships on fire. I like the idea that if you just hit a bird a couple of times, it too sets on fire. Let's come up here, charge our... Charge our weapons a bit. Look for this villain. On. Where's my Star Wars Starfighter abilities? <laughs> ah! Fly away, bird! Oh, oh I don't, don't, have a, don't have a wingman. Six, whatever that means. That's something people say. Oh shit! Oh, I wish I had my faster gun now. I think I made a horrible decision. Also, pumping my bird full of uh, juice hasn't seemed to have made a, a huge difference to him. Spectacular ending. Oh, I'm on fire. Oh, this is not looking good for the bird boy. These things have health. Oh no! Oh, total bird, bird destruction. So, I think we've learnt a couple of things. One, I cannot fly a giant battlebird for shit, but I think we all knew that was going to be the case. 
And secondly, that the Falconeer is looking rather ace, I think. I'm quite excited for this one. Like, it's crazy that this is the work of one developer, that's Thomas Sala. Um, it's being uh, uh, published by Wired Productions, but it's kind of mad what he's managed to build. And he said he's been working on it for three years. Oh yeah, look, here's that sort of rift. It's a bit like the sort of uh, Death Star sort of trench. You can imagine there's going to be some mad fights through here, but there's a lot more I haven't shown you. Like I said, there's those shrines. Uh, there's also going to be um, these other factions you work with, so you kind of learn the story from the perspectives of the different kind of nations around this world, uh, so you'll get a better idea of kind of piecing it together. Maybe see that people you were fighting in one chapter maybe weren't as villainous in another. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got a lot of time for this one. Very, very excited to see more. Um, please do let me know what you think in the comments, and please do check out our other Indies Uncovered videos. Uh, we've got loads of these now uh, on the channel. We've got a big playlist, which is linked to in the description uh, you can see all the kind of exciting things which are which are coming up um, yeah I mean we're all stuck indoors but we're uh, not short of good games to play which is good uh, the Falconeer will come out before the end of 2020 I've been told uh, so I've got that to look forward to please do go and wishlist it on Steam if you're interested again that's in the description uh, thank you so much to Thomas for talking me through it and for letting us uh, record some of the demo please do uh, come back to Rock Paper Shotgun and we hope to see you again soon bye for now